Part 2, Thinking Like an Entrepreneur 1. Grow some passion and determination. Starting your own business can be very, very hard, especially in the beginning, when you're still working out the kinks of your new business model. If you love your business, if it's something you have a passion for, the work becomes much easier. If your passion for your work is so great that you feel guilty for making money, you can be confident that you've picked something that's perfect for you. When you have passion for your work, it's easy to keep your sense of determination strong because you won't be satisfied with yourself until you've done your best. Find some areas you are passionate about and grow your skills in those areas through studies, training courses and the practical application of knowledge and skill. Find ways to make money out of your passion rather than trying to force the day job that you work to pay your bills into being the object of your passion. 2. Be prepared to reinvent yourself. When you start your own business, you may find that you need to make drastic changes to your habits and even your basic demeanor, to keep up with your new demands. Flexibility is a great asset if you're a new small business owner, as you may have to reinvent yourself a few times to find the right slant to tackle the niche you have chosen. Remember, starting your own business requires long hours and lots of focus. Change your behavior to ensure you're able to give your new job the time and attention that it needs. For instance, are you not a morning person? Are you low energy? If your restaurant's grand opening is in one a week, you can't afford to be these things anymore. Change your habits today, set your alarm clock extra early and drink a big mug of coffee. 3. Take advantage of unconventional sources of funding. So, you don't have an angel investor or a trust fund. This doesn't necessarily mean it'll be impossible to raise cash for your dream startup. Today, it's easier than ever for people who have great ideas, but no money, to get the attention of people with money, but no great ideas. Consider, for instance, advertising your project on a cloud sourcing site like Kickstarter. Sites like this allow you to pitch your idea to the internet at large. If people online think your idea is good and your business plan is sound, they'll have the option of chipping in some of your startup costs. Another way to win cash for your small business is to enter yourself in a startup competition. These competitions, often put on by the business schools of major universities, especially San Francisco Bay Area universities like Berkeley and Stanford, allow young enterprising entrepreneurs to sell their ideas to wealthy venture capitalists. Usually, in these competitions, the winners win an initial round of funding to start their business. 4. Put the customer first. One surefire way to set your new business apart from established competitors is simply by being more friendly and personable than anyone else. People love when small businesses have a warm ma and pa feel. Make it your primary objective to please your customers through quality results and friendly service. Try to understand what the customer wants. Find the best way to satisfy those wants. The main focus of any business is customer satisfaction. Secondary focus should then be quality, cost, profit, appearance, function of product, service, etc. etc. Remember that the customer is always right, even if s, he is acting entitled or illogical. This doesn't mean you need to capitulate to customers with ridiculous demands, rather, just that you need to make every customer feel respected. 5. Offer better value than competitors. Money talks. For most average consumers, money is the bottom line, the thing that informs them when they decide which products and services to pay for. Consumers want value for their money and abhor the idea of being ripped off. Take advantage of this. Offer a better deal than your competitors, doing the same work for cheaper is sure to give you a leg up. However, ensure your profit margins are protected when deciding on your business's pricing structure, you always need to be able to pay the rent. Make good on your promises and never be tempted to engage in false advertising as it will ruin you and your business reputation in no time. 6. Let your creativity replace your money. Get your business back to basics. Initially, try to make sure your business is as lean as it can be. Minimize your need for cash, which can be hard to come by at first, 
and aggressively increase sales activity through developing and implementing your own creative ideas and concepts. Always think big. One great idea can be worth thousands of dollars. 7. Approach contracts and partnerships with caution. Be sure that you consider every business relationship or partnership you make very carefully. Only hire or partner up with people you trust absolutely. If you do decide to partner with a person or business you trust, be sure to have the terms of your partnership recorded in writing before making your relationship official. It can be a very good idea to pay a lawyer to help you write your contracts for you. Legal fees can be expensive, but a well-written contract can save you many times your initial investment in the long run by preventing your partners from taking advantage of you. Be careful when using the term partner when you speak with business associates, as the legal concept of promissory stoppers, the spoken word superseding a written contract, might bind you at a later stage, especially if you start making money. 8. Build your ability to negotiate. When all else fails, negotiate, barter, and trade. Confident crafty bargaining ability is one of the defining traits of a true entrepreneur. This is a valuable skill to build, as it strengthens your innate business know-how and improves your confidence. Whether you're hiring a new employee, shopping for some equipment, or hammering out a business partnership, don't be afraid to haggle and make offers that are beneficial to you, the worst the other person can do is say no. Take risks, while protecting your legal rights, and you may be pleasantly surprised at the outcome. Try making a trip to the local flea market, here, you're usually allowed, even encouraged, to haggle and bargain with vendors, so you can get some good low-stakes practice in.